Hello, grade fours. Welcome to lesson 10. Oh my goodness, 10 lessons already on this unit. That's crazy. Um, but as promised, today we are going to learn about the voyagers. Um, guess what language that word comes from? Voyageur. French, you're right. If you said French, you're right. <laughs> so we are going to learn about, a little bit more about the voyagers, so make sure you have your sheet ready. Um, there's also a 20 minute video that is not me talking that you get to watch. It's kind of like a movie. So enjoy that. As you watch it, please make sure that you are taking notes on the page that says Voyager notes, because there is an activity right after that. Um, I'm going to explain also in this video that you're going to need those notes for you want to have good specific notes of interesting things. Remember, you can pause the videos at any time. So if you if you think of something, if you hear something interesting, pause and write it down. So I'm just going to go through that page really quickly. Um, and then I'm also going to explain the next assignment because I want you to know what you're doing before you watch the video so that you know what to look for in the video. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Here is the Voyager page. So there's first a question. Guys, I have noticed that in a lot of your work, you guys are writing like one answer on this top line. That's not an acceptable grade for answer. I noticed this, especially in the languages questions that you had. Let's do better. It just because you're doing these lessons online doesn't mean I don't see the, the what work you're doing and doesn't mean I'm not marking it. So please answer everything to the best of your ability at all times and do your best work. You wanna be proud of this at the end of the day. So here we go. Now that you have mapped your own route from Eastern Canada to the prairies, do you think you could paddle all that way? So take a look back to the map you made um, the other day and just think about it. Could you paddle all that way? It's very flat land a lot of the time. And then also make sure you say, what do you think that would be like? Think about food, think about shelter. You're in a canoe all day. What do you think it would be like? We're actually gonna learn what this is like. So please pause the video, answer that question, and then um, resume. Okay, I hope you did a good job on that question. Now we are here. The voyageurs, a French word that means traveler, were men, mainly a French background, who worked for fur trading companies. So these are French men that worked for fur trading companies, and they were in charge of traveling by canoe across Canada to exchange goods for furs with the Aboriginal peoples. So they might have caught the furs in the east in like Quebec or Ontario, but the voyageur's job was to take all the um, sorry, take all the goods, so like the blankets, the pots, the pans, the weapons that they traded, they would take them in their canoes and travel along the riverways like the ones that you looked at last time, and then they would meet up with the First Nations people and trade their goods for the beaver pelts. Next, you're going to watch the following short film created by the National Film Board of Canada about the voyagers. And on the next page, write notes about the voyagers, including what they were like and what they did. You're going to need these notes for an assignment later. My friends, look at how big this page is. I'm not saying you have to fill up the entire thing, but please don't just give me four lines of notes. The next, the, the next assignment's really fun, and I, but, and I really want you to make sure you have a lot of information because it would really not be fun to have to go watch that video again. So take good notes, pause the video whenever you need to so that you can write stuff down, then you're gonna go on to the next task. So just give me a few minutes here to explain what you're gonna do next because I wanna make sure you know, um, and then when you're watching the video, you can think extra hard about what information you need to write down. So after you're done these notes and after you're done watching the video, you're going to write a journal entry as if you were a voyager. Sorry girls, you. Women could not be voyagers back then, but we're gonna pretend. Um, using what we've learned about voyagers, you will write a journal entry from a point of view of a voyager in 1795. So that is almost 250 years ago. So you're gonna put your mind back in, what, in their head and then think about what a day in the life would be like. And also think about how to write a journal entry about your life. So, 
Um, here are some things to keep in mind. And right before you go to write this, maybe come back to this part of the video. Um, I'll add a little title so that you know, or so that when you're scrolling on YouTube, you can see where this information is. But here are some things that you wanna keep in mind. They paddled a lot and had very few breaks. They had to carry a heavy sack the goods and the canoe. So they had to carry all this stuff. This is called portage, which means to carry a canoe and supplies. You'll see that in the video. They sang festive songs to keep rhythm while they're paddling. They ate food in high calories that would not spoil as they traveled. They usually ate two large meals a day. They would usually eat dried meats, beans, and biscuits made the day before from water and flour. At night, they would eat pemmican, an Aboriginal food made from dried buffalo or caribou, caribou meat mixed with fat or grains. Sometimes they would hunt for animals for hunt animals for meat, or they'd catch fish. They also might trade for these. So um, if they had other things that uh, if they met up with a First Nations um, group and they had stuff to trade, they could say, "Hey, we'll give you this for some of your buffalo meat, or we'll give you this blanket if you can give us some berries that you've collected," and things like that. Um, okay, so those are all things to keep in mind. Look, they took some notes for you. So when you're watching the video, take notes about things that you could use for this assignment. Your instructions are on the next page, you're going to write a one page journal entry written from the point of view of a voyager at the end of a long day. So imagine you've just had a long day, you've paddled all down the river, you've eaten your two meals, maybe you had to hunt. Um, you're gonna tell me, I felt like this, I saw this, I ate this, I wore this. You need to include some of the challenges of being a voyager, what you do as a voyager, what you saw as a voyager, what is enjoyable about being a voyager, what did you eat as a voyager, and any other interesting facts. Um, please include a lot of descriptive language. So describe the landscapes, the trees, the bright green trees were all lined up down the river. The rapids were terrifying. Um, my arm felt like it was gonna fall off as we canoed around another bend or something like that. So, and tell me how, the, how you feel as a voyager. I bet you're gonna be tired. I bet you're gonna be a little grumpy. Maybe you'd be excited because maybe you're gonna get somewhere that day. Maybe you're almost to your destination. So tell me the whole day. So when your voyager wakes up, or sorry, when you as the voyager wakes up, what they do when they get up, um, how they carry the canoe when they're on land, tell me what they ate for lunch, did they eat dinner? What is going on? Did they snack? What did they see? Did they see any animals? Did they see anything in the water? Were there any close calls? What was there? You gotta tell me a challenge that they might've had. Was the portage hard? Did they flip the canoe? There's so many ideas. So you're gonna fill up this whole page. If you need more paper, um, there's two pages there. Don't make it longer than that, please. <laughs> please keep it short and sweet, but with all of the things that they listed up here. It's June 4th, 1795. So also keep in mind that it's June, so there shouldn't be snow. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a nice summery day. So you are gonna be marked on your use of class time, if you did all the, well, all of you are really good at that. You guys use your technology appropriately and you always use your time appropriately. Um, you're gonna make sure that you use all of the required information. So in order to get a mastering, you need to um, have all the required components. So all that list I just read out, um, you've done everything. Your entry reflects several details that extend your learning while remaining accurate. So if you give me some extra stuff, your emotions, um, extra little details, maybe he got, maybe your Voyager got a splinter on the canoe. I don't know, just make it interesting. Um, no capitalization errors. Please don't make me give you speeding tickets on this letter. Go through sentence by sentence. Did I do what I'm supposed to do? And then make sure it's neat. Yeah, that is it. That is the Voyager project for today. Um, so go ahead, watch that video. If I were you, I would come back and re-listen to these instructions so that you know what to do and you do a good job. I'm excited. You guys, I'm, I'm really excited to read these journal entries. Maybe we can post them somewhere for people to read. 
All right, have a good class, enjoy, and let me know if you have any questions. Next time we're gonna be talking about um, missionaries, I think. So stay tuned. Talk to you.